Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So, I know I'm a whole week late, but it's not my fault, you know? The film just became available to everybody last night, so if it was up to me, this video would have been out. But we ain't gonna waste no time. We go get straight into it. So, my man's Clyde's head with a lair. This man had a great debut. He had 25 carries, 138 yards, and one touchdown. He easily convinced me that he is the best running back out of this draft class, even though I felt like Jonathan Taylor should have went first. But now I'm understanding, you know? But to be completely transparent with y'all, when I was actually watching the game, the first three runs looked bad from a TV perspective. But from the film perspective, you can see the first run, the blocking was bad. And he really, you know, pretty much made the right decision. Same thing on this run coming up. My man's get the ball, and pretty much he hits the right hole, but, you know, he gets tackled. Same thing here. Hits the right hole, but the blocking is terrible. But as the game started going on, he started really displaying his strengths. Now, the first thing I want to point out is his elusiveness. This play right here gives a lot of depth to why he's an elusive back, starting with looking at number 55 off the edge, the first victim. He ends up cutting out. And when he cut in, he's able to break that tackle and make 55 miss. And on top of that, he also sold out the linebacker number 44. Number 44 thought he was going out, but realistically he came back in. And the reason why he's able to sell that is because he's short and small. It's just hard to see him over all of those linemen. And when he came back to get the tackle, he ended up missing his homie missed, and then he just kept his feet moving for the extra yards, bro. And speaking on his size, his size also allows him to maneuver through these holes, bro. Some running backs would not be able to slip through there. On top of that, in general, he just breaks tackles, bro. Right here, he hits the hole, and the dudes just slip right off his legs, keeps him moving, cuts outside, and he's able to take that challenge, lower his shoulder, and keep his legs moving for about two extra yards, bro. Right here. Boom, makes him miss. Hitting with that, ugh, got him tweaking. And then he just go all the way for the touchdown, bruh. It's fair to say if he keeps going at this rate, bruh, he go easily be one of the top five rushers in the league, if not the top rusher, you feel me? Because that offense is crazy. But on top of that, he also got good vision. On this play right here, when you look at the guard, the guard is low-key getting beat to the inside. And he also can see the linebacker behind that camera simply because that guard is for some reason bent over so he cuts to the open hole on the outside great decision you feel me just good green you feel me and even though he didn't get a huge game it's more yards than he would have originally gotten same thing right here just basics the defender is right on the right side of him he ain't stupid man he ain't stupid so what he does cut to the wide open hole and get a few yards that he wouldn't have gotten and along with his vision he also let it be known that, yes, I was able to run the zone run scheme in college and I could do it in the league. Right here on this play, he got the ball, boom, make J.J. Watt miss. Boom, get up into that hole, right? He see the defender, what's up? Boom, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, keep his feet moving. Ends up breaking that, and he should have scored, but his lineman pushed him. Right here, simple. The defender beat the guard, the hole is clustered, and the lineman is pushing the go I mean pushing the D tackle to the inside. So he cuts up into that hole and he ends up getting a few yards that he probably shouldn't have gotten, you know? And one last thing I want to point out is that even though he was doing so much on the field, the man never fumbled the ball and he showed desire to protect the ball, bruh. That's what you want your young running back or running back in general. But moving forward. I, would, I just want to see bro be consistent, man. It's one thing to do this against a bad defense like the Texans, but I want to see you do it against good defenses. I want to see you do it every week. You know, be consistent. Be a constant threat. Stay healthy, man, because, you know, he the way he's running, he's small. You know, he's, a, he's not scared of contact. He can easily be hurt, especially since we see all these players getting hurt so early on in the year because, let's be honest, these players are not in shape. Like, they not in football shape. Their bodies are not in shape. That's why it's so many people on IR and so many people banged up already, man. They only have, like, a month to prepare. So, just stay healthy. Do you. And I also want to see the Chiefs utilize him more in the passing game because I heard that he can also do that, too, if I'm not mistaken. So, 
overall, I am impressed with his first game, and he easily showed me why he was the first running back taken off the board. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section. What's your predictions for him for this season? Um, let me know everything, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and I got some more content coming soon.